about 500 feet. There's no hiding from the cockpit of this Black Hawk helicopter. Systems instruments Piloted by Customs and Border Protection Air and Marine Operations, the roar of its rotors about all you can hear, 500 feet above downtown Tampa and the stadium hosting Sunday's game. One of the things these Black Hawk helicopters are enforcing here is a flight restriction. Can't get in here without the proper clearance, but they've also got eyes on the ground. Cameras mounted on the Black Hawk give Supervisory Special Agent Todd Gale a day and night bird's eye view and intel for the ground. It's creating a wall so not even one person can slip through. It's a multi-layered, uh, comprehensive multi-layered approach. The Department of Homeland Security understands the Super Bowl could be a target of enemies foreign and domestic. Tampa police know the city best, so they're running day-to-day -day security, supported by the FBI, Secret Service, TSA, and of course, Customs and Border Protection. In the air and on the water. In Tampa traffic, it's often quicker to respond to a crisis by boat. And most of the Super Bowl crowds are gathering along the city's river walk. We're looking for it all. Just uh, whatever can bring uh, danger or harm to the public. All right, you gonna catch one more? You got ready? Oh! But there's another side to this effort, connecting with the people they've sworn to protect, a critical resource in keeping crowds safe. And we also talk to people because we want them to be our partners. You know, they're, they're more of them than they are of us. Yeah. So, you know, if you see something, say something. This sizable security mission may seem extraordinary, but they tell us it's typical of every Super Bowl. It's the most televised sporting event uh, in America, and we're going to make sure that they can do that safely and securely. A promise and the force to back it up in a time of national uncertainty. I'm Jay O'Brien reporting.